Days like today are why I am so glad and so fortunate to do what I do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Holy crap. That was a different experience right there. <laughs> because I was invited by Tyga to go out and check out their new jet skis. These things are all electric. They are freaking cool as heck. And as the great philosopher Aristotle once said, money can't buy happiness, but have you ever seen anybody on a jet ski without a smile? So with that spirit, I am headed out to go and test these things out. And I am so thrilled. This is going to be so cool. And I'm excited to share them with you because I think that uh, if you don't know about them, you should check them out. They've actually been making snowmobiles as well, which is pretty cool. So this is kind of their venture into jet skis. So the ones we're going to be riding today are the Carbon Fiber Series. They also make a performance and a sport version. The performance is basically the same thing, just without a carbon fiber body. And the sport version is going to be a little bit less power, a little bit less range, um, but it's going to come at a lower price point as well. So I know that they are ramping up production and they had their first big quarter last quarter. This quarter, they're going to be doing a ton more. So if you order one now, you are going to be able to still get it before the end of this season. So that's what they're uh, claiming at this point anyway. So after you check out this video, make sure you check them out as well. Link will be in the description for you so you can check these out for yourself. I've got quite an awesome day ahead of me because I'm sitting here on an electric jet ski from Tyga. This is their carbon fiber series and they are just now getting ready to start deliveries of their performance model, which is the same thing I'm sitting on now, but instead of a carbon fiber body, it's got a traditional body. And then later on down the road, they'll also have a sport model, um, which will also be coming out. This carbon fiber body, um, I believe it starts, and I'll put the correct number uh, down here if I misspeak, but it's about $27,500. The performance model, that'll bring you down to about 20, 21 and a half. And the sport model, when that comes out, will bring you down to about 18,500. So these are definitely a premium over traditional jet skis, but what do you get for that? That's really all that matters is their value. And these things rock. So this carbon fiber version, just like the performance version, is going to come with 120 kilowatt power. It's 160 horsepower. This thing scoots. And because it's electric, just like with cars, it has all that power immediately if you want it. It's also got a little bit of trickery in there to help you with getting this ride the way that you like it. So with the trim settings, you can make this thing sit up a little bit higher or you can make it a little bit lower, not quite as fast. But a little bit more stability so based on how you like to ride you can set this thing up just right and being electric they have the ability to charge via 1772 and coming soon you'll be able to dc fast charge these things so that's in pilot right now and it's supposedly going to charge at 50 kilowatt charge rate which is pretty incredible so as it sits right now, you can just plug into a 120 outlet and it'll take about, I believe 13 hours. Again, I'll put the right number right here somewhere, but I believe it was 13 hours. And if you use a level two charger, you can get 6.6 .6 kilowatt charge rate on this thing. So you don't even have to have a huge power load to get 6.6, .6, but you can use a wall connector from Tesla or an Autel charger. And you can plug that right in here and you're going to get a full charge in about three and a half hours. So. Pretty awesome that even from home, you can get a pretty reasonably fast charge. So how long will that get you to ride? They claim 45 kilometers in the carbon fiber version. They claim 40 kilometers in the performance, and then it goes down from there once you go to the sport model. Now, when it comes to water sports, it's really difficult to figure out how that translates into time because really, when you're going kilometers on the water, you're probably not going to be going in a straight line to and from a place. So you do a lot of playing around. So they say a good way to think about it is a couple hours of playtime is probably a better way to think about it. And depending on which mode you're in, that playtime can be fun or it can be exhilarating. So this thing tops out about 100 kilometers an hour and it gets there in about three and a half seconds. This thing is super quick. And because of the way that this thing sets on the water, super high, 
it goes seamlessly over the top of the water. It's very similar to jet boats that you've seen in the past from other brands. That's how this works. It does have a reverse. However, it doesn't steer in reverse, but it does have a reverse. The difference here is though, when you're on this, instead of a traditional gas powered jet ski, you're not idling and moving forward, preventing yourself from being able to just sit still. This thing, you just let go and it's sitting there. That's another really good thing about electric. Also, because it's electric, the maintenance is very different. So you're not using the water that you're rolling through to cool off the motors. It has actually a sealed system to keep it cool. So because of that, you have less maintenance. So you can also use this in salt water or in fresh water. So the performance and the carbon fiber sitting at 120 kilowatt power. The Sport version that is coming very soon is going to have a 67 kilowatt power. So it's going to be a little bit less power. It's going to have a little bit less range, but it's going to come a little bit cheaper as well. And now, honestly, depending on your situation, what lake you're planning on using this on, you may not need that top trim level. But if you decide you wanted it, they are saying that you can get one still this season before the season is over. Is that thing on yet? Oh, yeah. Can, can't you hear it? No, I can't. I like that. That's we, really nice. We put premium electricity in it. It ain't got no gas in it. <laughs> <laughs> a different experience right there <laughs> Jesus. yeah that was fast so if this looks like something that you are interested in you can certainly pre-order yours now and again get it before the season is over over at taiga.ca and check out their options available there you can pre-order yours now and you should be able to take delivery here in the United States at least or in Canada uh, before the season is over so thanks a bunch to Tyga and their team for inviting us out this afternoon here in sunny central Florida to try these things out ripping these things out with some cool people this is a good time and I really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did of course give it the thumbs up if you haven't already of course subscribe to the channel as we continue to post content regularly follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Tesla. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll catch you next time.